Hello YouTube, Calc Programmer one here. Um, I'm releasing a new version of my music visualizer for RGB peripherals. Um, originally, uh, only for the Corsair K70, and a while ago I added support for the Razer Black Widow Chroma, and um, I've been working on it, and Razer contacted me and asked me to add support for uh, their new products, the Razer Firefly and Razer Mamba Tournament Edition, which they have kindly sent me to go ahead and add support for, so big thanks to Razer for sending me those. I've uh, rewritten the program pretty much from scratch using Microsoft Visual C++, and I've finally gotten rid of the OpenAL loopback dependency. So you don't need a loopback device anymore. You can just go ahead and set your default output device no issues there like normal. It'll listen to any program that's outputting audio, your favorite music player, games, whatever. And you do not have to close um, Synapse or uh, Corsair uh, software when you're using this program. Uh, on the Corsair you'll want to set a static profile. It won't work if you have a, a dynamic profile or an effect going. On the Razer, because of the Chroma SDK integration, it will work as long as you have the new Chroma SDK supported uh, Razer Synapse. So, what it looks like is this is a simple program. All you've got to do is open it up. And I've gone ahead and put in some good default settings. Um, you can change the foreground colors to one of these uh, white, green, yellow, red, blue, cyan, white, red, white, blue, rainbow, or rainbow inverse modes. And then you can also turn on the background, which is the simple background like I had before and adjust the brightness of it with the background brightness box here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the background off which turns it off on everything and we'll go ahead and put this on rainbow and then I'm going to go ahead and play some music We can increase the frequency in which it updates by putting a zero in here. Now it'll respond faster.
Note that this version is only for Windows at the moment, uh, no Linux support, because I've written it in Visual Studio. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to port this to GTK or Qt or something. But for now, it's Windows only, link is in the description. Thanks for watching.